Hello. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I'm Teacher Oakley, coming to you live from the Philippines, where, in fact, there is a typhoon <laughs> spinning around my head at this time. Uh, hello, Heidi. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you again. Um, I heard um, uh, a typhoon is uh, in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I've missed a bunch of classes. I had classes earlier. I could even... I have no power right now. I'm using a, um. using a battery-powered lamp. <laughs> Is it big? And, uh, big typhoon? Um, it's, it was a Category 3 when it, when it hit ah, so, land. So big. Yeah, so it's medium strength, but it's very wide, actually. Mm -hmm. It's really wide. Um, where I am, it's, well, there's no power. I haven't been able, you couldn't use a phone. There's no reception. Couldn't get online uh -huh. until just recently, or it was on and off, on and off, on and off with the phones and Wi-Fi. Hopefully, you know, I'm just hoping that this connection will stay good through the whole class. I was trying to get into my earlier classes and I couldn't even, it wasn't possible. Yeah. Hopefully, I think the eye has passed where I am. Yeah. Uh, I hope anyway, so. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, hello, Shafar. Hi, Shafar. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. Uh, <laughs> nice to uh, see you again. Yeah, nice to see you. Uh, how long we, we have yeah. not met? We have not met. <laughs> Do, uh, two weeks or one month? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Sometimes it's a little scary. You <laughs> maybe your um, microphone is too strong, so you can get uh, any noise. So maybe you need to volume down a little. Um. Okay. Or I can plug in the microphone, but that. No, no, Shafar. Let's try that. So, or uh, even uh, oh, when he, uh, he speaks, it's too loud. So the. Really? Okay. Yeah. His voice is too loud. Uh, like, yeah. like that. <laughs> Always. Okay. So, I'm sorry. No, just pull the microphone back a little. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that should be that should do it. Uh, yeah, I thought you were talking about it's too loud here. <laughs> every <laughs> every yeah. once in a while there's a you know there's a typhoon here, so every few minutes there's a big gust of wind and you hear all the metal roofs going <laughs> it's a little scary actually <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy my hair is wet I had to go out in the rain and now my hair won't dry uh, yeah anyway anyway uh, this is a conversation class <laughs> in which well anyway planned or scheduled we were going to talk about crafts. Uh, do you know what I mean by when I say crafts or handicrafts? Uh, Heidi, do you know what I'm talking about? Mm, I'm not sure. Craft is like this a group of uh, something or a uh, social position? <laughs> uh, no. Well, handicrafts uh, or crafts are actually objects. Um, Shafar, do you know what I mean by handicrafts? Uh, handicrafts, uh, could I say that, uh, masterpiece? Masterpiece. Uh, possibly, could be. Of course, crafts made by myself are not exactly masterpieces, <laughs> for example. <laughs> so I, not necessarily so. Okay, um, handicrafts are things that crafts people make crafts are basically things that people make with their hands uh, examples might be pottery okay weaving 
carving, carving from wood or stone or jade, jade carvings, for example. These would all be considered a handicraft. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Possibly even clothing making. Handicraft. Uh, handicrafts, yeah. Handicraft. Put it in the, yes, okay. Yeah. I put it in the verbal chat. Now, one thing that's interesting is that uh, craftsmen can refer to somebody who carves or weaves or makes rugs or something. Um, but craftsmen can also refer to people who, who do, for example, carpentry, who do uh, very time-consuming, elaborate carpentry or furniture making, for example. Um, they're also doing things with their hands. Um, actually, handicrafts probably does include furniture. Anyway, um, usually in most countries, for example, here in the Philippines, there are handicrafts made by uh, some native peoples, some pretty funky bird whistles and uh, <laughs> carvings, definitely carvings. Um, carvings made out of coconuts <laughs> or uh, coconut wood, um, things like that. So e every country in general has its own kind of crafts. Uh, so Heidi, what, what, what crafts do you consider as native to Japan? Which specialties? Uh, specialties, for example, uh, they dye some cotton, cotton, cotton thread, uh -huh. and uh, weave, weave the, to the cloth. That kind of traditional handicraft. Yes. Oh, what do they make out of it? Even you mentioned uh, pottery. There are many famous places about the ceramic. What do they weave? Just a, 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 like a. Pardon? <laughs> Pardon? I couldn't hear. Uh -huh. mm. Uh-oh. This is what I was afraid of. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. No, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm a little paranoid. Uh, warning to any viewers, mm -hmm. there is a typhoon where I'm located. <laughs> so, mm, power's already out, connection. Debatable. Uh, Andrew, are you, in fact, in? Hey, Oakley, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, but not so well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a typhoon here, Andrew. Uh, so okay. I think things are not functioning normally, to say the least. Uh, all right, uh, Andrew, we're talking about crafts, handicrafts, things like pottery, weaving, Baskets, rugs, uh, making musical instruments, that would be another example. Uh, Andrew, what, what kind of uh, crafts are, are, is your country famous for? I'm not sure, probably this, this is a musical instrument called balalaika, so it's, uh -huh. it's kind of, it's kind of uh, I would say this is the replica of guitar, but this has a small size. So. Mhm. Mm and uh, do people make them by hand? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, then that's craftsmanship. That's craft. Uh, that's definitely a craft. If you make by hand. Okay. Is the phrase that we. Uh, or what's the other way that we say that? Do you know, Andrew? Made by hand. Yeah. Home 
I know probably like homemade or ah, handmade handmade. Yeah, handmade. Yeah, handmade products, products. exactly. Uh, homemade is also a word often used in English, but homemade uh, is usually referring to cooking. Yeah. Homemade okay. bread, for example. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Uh, all right. Um, sure. Instrument making. Uh, okay. Uh, Shafar. Yes. How about in your country? I'm sure there are crafts native to your country. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, maybe... Uh, Mm, I I can. Uh, I know that some my uh, country has uh, a lot of uh, crafts, uh, especially for a basic, uh, uh, like uh, fabric, basic and uh, and cloth. I, I think not just famous in my country but uh, in international. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think uh, like uh, Betty can uh, include each other. So I, I'm sorry. What, what exactly, specifically are are crafts from your country? Uh, Betty. Maybe I missed it. Uh, it's like uh, uh fabric. Uh, uh, oh, fabric. Kind of that we we use uh we use every day, but. Uh, but I I can say that there's a, a unique a unique motif in the in the stylus of the my is it for the for for its, uh, craft. Okay, uh, Shafar, have you ever made a batik? Mm, yes, uh, usually uh, at the the government using batik for uh, for art form uh, in the school. Uh, uh, Shafar, isn't batik where you so. take wax and you put wax on the cloth and then you dye the cloth and then you put more uh, wax on? So yeah. is that the technique? Uh, yes. That's okay. Um, hey, I've done that. <laughs> oh, we did that in art art but class I when I was young. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that before. Uh, okay. Did you? Uh, you have uh, done batik. Uh, how was your artwork, Shafar? Oh, was it a masterpiece? No, uh, I'm not. That <laughs> I've never uh, made a batik because I think it's uh, too uh, difficult. And maybe some just a uh, um, factory uh, doing that. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I've never tried to uh, get making but it, It's hard, maybe. No, it's not. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to do it really well. Yeah, that's true. But it's easy to do. It's just hard to do well. Okay. All right. Uh, what, Shafar, have you ever tried to do any other kind of crafts, like weaving or making pottery, glass uh, blowing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I just uh, make a poetry in my uh, school, but <laughs> I'm sad to show you. <laughs> okay. Did you ever uh, make some kind of artwork in school? To give uh, to your yeah. parents. Yes, of course. But uh, and was it a masterpiece? <laughs> it's like uh, to uh, like a photography, and uh, you, oh, okay. we okay. we are using even, uh, some kind of paper, uh, and, uh, to to uh, make it. Uh, like I don't know I I guess what, uh, what are you are you talking about matting I think it's called this to mat a uh, photograph I think I'm not sure okay I'm not sure about that uh, Heidi how about you have you uh, have you ever crafted anything 
craft dog. Craft, craft. Have you ever made anything like pottery? Sorry. Yeah, when I was a student, or, I did a lot of things mm -hmm. crafting, but so far I can do it uh, knitting, uh, knitting. It knitting. All okay. Sure, I, I think knitting um, mm -hmm. and all the other knitting, macrame, all the styles, whatever. I think those would be considered yes. craftsmanship. I can do the sewing, but I need to make uh, use some machine. But uh, still, it's right. hand craft. So, so you can knit. I can knit. I can sew. All right. What uh, what have you knitted? Like a what have you made? Like a sweater? Yeah, anything. Anything. Underwear. <laughs> 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 socks. <laughs> so, yeah. Socks. Gloves. 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 Oh, really? Gloves. Okay, that's good. Yeah, actually, when I was a child, I had an aunt who would uh, knit. Who would knit gifts for her nieces and nephews, and they were so ugly. Uh. But you you know she it's a gift so you have to wear it but it like pink and purple hat just really really horrible colors <laughs> <laughs> very embarrassing sometimes I wonder if she did it on purpose when I was okay. a high school student I needed a lot of things I loved uh, oh, making pattern like a lot of elephant in the in my on my sweater or. So I, okay. I designed the, the from a pattern. A lot of I elephants see. or flowers, uh, stars. Uh, Heidi, have you ever done needlepoint? Needlepoint? What needlepoint? Yeah. Okay. Let me try to explain. Like canvas. Yes. Yes. And Making some picture uh, with some thread. Okay, okay, Thank you. yeah, I, maybe yeah. I did when I was a student. Uh, yeah, my my wife likes to do needlepoint, and she also likes painting designs on ceramics. I mm -hmm. I don't know. It's her craft. I don't know. She enjoys it. Myself, I, I am really really horrible at crafts. <laughs> uh, really, really bad. Uh, it, it's funny, you know, in the United States there are some really silly crafts that you make as a child, like uh, making a sculpture out of toothpicks or macaroni sculpture from noodles. Please show me your hand. <laughs> Please show me your hand. What? Finger. My hand? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I got it. Why? Big fat fingers? <laughs> Tip of the very... should be thin, thinner. Yeah, you're right. And whenever I have to do anything uh, very, use it, you know, very small things, like, for example, putting a thread in a needle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Takes, me, takes me forever. <laughs> Just, I can't do it. Uh, about really? Who have a uh, tip of th th uh, finger is thinner. It's very good to make that anything. Yeah, well, I believe that because <laughs> I'm very bad. Uh, <laughs> anything that requires detailed, uh, you know, work with the hands, I'm just no good. H how about you, Shafar? Are you talented using your hands with very small work? A small or uh, and, uh, I'm not just, I'm not uh, very good, but I think uh, I will try my my, my maximal my maximal. Uh, uh, it just uh, 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 for example uh, when I'm in, uh, when I'm uh, junior high school, I I made I made uh, 
things like uh, from webbing and i assemble i assemble webbing to uh mm, for the for the masterpiece like uh i assemble that so it's uh, it's interesting from me okay uh, uh another thing that kids do in the united states boys usually they make models uh like car or airplane or rocket ship something like that they have all the you have a million little parts and pieces and you you have instructions and you glue glue them together very carefully very small pieces and then maybe you paint it after have, have you ever do you know what i'm talking about shafar have you ever seen models uh I just have my picture. Uh, it called a yum in my country, but uh, from webbing or a paper to I, I think it's a uh, work to uh, uh, like <laughs> weaving. <laughs> weaving, to, okay. Yeah, the paper. Uh, yeah. uh, one oh, there we go. Um, yes. Wow. <laughs> I love that one in the middle there with the green and yellow. Uh, it, that's, that's cool. Wow, okay. You can actually do that. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Heidi, did, did, you see, did you see examples of Shafar's weaving? He's amazingly talented. <laughs> um, it, it's not mine. <laughs> sure it is, Shafar. Just yeah. you know, just pretend. <laughs> you uh, can pretend it's yours. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Uh, Shafar does. That's that's great. Uh, weaving. Okay. Uh, Heidi, do do uh, little Japanese boys make uh, model cars and model planes? Oh, I know this. I have two brothers. They yeah. all made some miniature uh, cars or uh, airplane. Do you know very thin bamboo stick? Very oh. Okay. They cut bamboo. Then after that, they shape the bamboo into very thin um the like. What? But I don't know in English. Uh -huh. They can bend and make the shape of the wing, uh, airplane wing. Then they put ah. paper on the wing. And they really? fly that airplane with a rubber band. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Wow, it's much more talented. Uh, as an American, we had little kits. All right, you buy a kit. It's it's uh, everything you need to do uh, some kind of handicraft. Often, it's kind of cheating. We don't make it uh, carve the bamboo and <laughs> wrap it in paper. We don't do everything ourselves. We cheat, you know. Yeah, American kids. So I bet no American kids ever do this anymore. It's probably ancient history now. But you would get a kit with all the little parts and make a plane or something like that. Um, everything you need to uh, to to do that craft. Even even for example, holiday crafts in the United States. For example, painting eggs for Easter. You get a kit. And you can, uh, it has patterns you can use, or it has all the paints and everything, all the dyes, I mean, that you use. Or even for Halloween, you carve a pumpkin. They have uh -huh. special knives and a pattern you can put on the pumpkin. Kind of cheap, really. Uh, Heidi, have you ever carved a pumpkin? Uh, no, I've never. But I uh, oh, carved it. Uh, it, say, <coughs> when the kind of station, stationary, stationary. When I 
write the, write down something on, on the pencil. After that, we can, eraser, eraser. Uh huh. Eraser. Okay. Yeah, I covered eraser like oh, name <laughs> stamp, <laughs> name name stamp. Oh, made a stamp. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I've done that before too, actually. Uh, right. That's that's a memory I forgot about. It. Yeah, a long time ago in art class. All right. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Uh, Shafar, are there any crafts that people do for holidays? Like Americans carve pumpkins for Halloween, or we color eggs, dye eggs for Easter? Yeah. In my in my tradition, like in my city, uh, sometimes when we uh, celebrate the, Indian, the Independence Day, uh, we we uh, we make any uh, ch challenging or uh, say that, and uh, we made something to be using it for uh, the uh, champion for. Uh, And like uh, I I don't think know this uh, uh, know the English of this uh, this kid I think. Right. <laughs> okay. I have a time explaining it. What what is this? Okay, for Independence Day, what is it made out of? What are what is the material? Mm, oh yeah, I, mm, uh, yeah. Maybe I don't know what to say. This maybe this this uh, made made up from uh. Mm, look, look at my screen again. <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> do you see the this uh I play play uh yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Look at me. Then, uh, maybe you can. What on earth is that? Uh, this is uh, maybe it's oh. from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Are... Uh, it's yeah. Uh, okay. Are, you mean the things that people walk on? Uh, yes, but I think it's just a craft and we are using for Independence Day. Oh, okay. Well, um, there is an English word. We call those stilts. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you make yeah. a little holder for your feet and then you can walk. Use yeah. the... Bamboo or whatever, yeah, those are called stilts. Yeah. All right, stilts. <laughs> I think for independence today. Crazy. Wow. And, Why? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think. Uh, oh, I think this can uh, help me uh, excited. Uh, uh, crafts for uh, for making yeah sure in in the independence day yeah sure yeah I think that's that qualifies as a craft yeah but do you know why this tradition exists mm, uh, I I don't think cool. so I I don't understand uh, I I I just born and I, uh, this is kind of a habit. Or traditional. I don't think okay. so why it's uh, exit. <laughs> okay. And uh, how about your country? Uh, okay. Well, well, uh, if, in the United States we carve pumpkins and for for Halloween and we paint Easter eggs for Easter. That's yes. pretty much it. Uh, we don't. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about stilts. Uh, okay. uh, stilts. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What? Okay. Uh, what well, <laughs> you know, well, pencil, pencil carving. Oh, you know, what do you think? Pencil carving. It's very what? interesting. Oh. 
What's that hiding? Okay, pencil carving. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hello, Jose. I let me greet Jose. Hey, hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. What about oh, you? My goodness. Uh, I'm I'm doing okay. We're talking about crafts. Uh, Heidi has just shared a very interesting, <laughs> extremely interesting. Wow. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of pictures about pencil carving. That's really cool. Actually, uh, Heidi, you know, I saw last night on TV. Yeah. Um, sushi. The, these people making. The first picture, making, the chain connecting the two pencils. Both are, at first it was one pencil. Then uh, the person carved the chain and all everything. Crazy. <laughs> See, I could, I could never do that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's wild. Last night on TV, I, I was watching a, a sushi artist. Mm -hmm. Basically, they were using the nori, the seaweed, to make lines and then dyeing the rice different colors, putting different things. And so, when you cut the sushi and you look at it, the side, it was really a, a inside. Uh, yeah. Picture, yeah, it was like a painting. Yeah, really cool, amazing, actually. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, Jose. Yeah. Jose. Yeah. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, from Kuwait. Where are you from? Kuwait. I'm from, from Kuwait. From Kuwait. Kuwait. Yes. Wow. Okay, uh, what kind of traditional crafts do you have in your country? Like things made by hand, artwork, or could be furniture, uh, rug making, pottery, carving, things like that. What kinds you of know, crafts is your country famous for? Kuwait just uh, a desert and full of oil. <laughs> There is nothing. <laughs> so there are no crafts that are native and oil they carving? The past, no, that doesn't work. They, in the past days, there was uh, diving for pearls. Diving for pearls? Yeah. Okay. All right. But there's no crafts like um, making clothing or furniture, nothing like that? No, sand. Yes. There's a lot of sand. Okay. The temperature now it's. Have 15, you ever seen? Now. Okay. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Have you ever? But you have sand. Have you ever seen sand painting? Ah, no. that's a very interesting. No. No. Do you guys are you familiar with sand painting, Shafar or Heidi? Yeah, I know. Have you ever I seen that? Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, very cool. And very cool. And really, speaking of traditional, uh, the American Indians make these very elaborate pictures of different with different colors of sand. Very interesting. They are not allowed. They have specific, very specific paintings, uh, pictures that they're allowed to make, um, and they have to make them exactly. It takes like ten or twelve years just to learn the designs. Many, many years. And um, furthermore, they use these paintings uh, in a healing ceremony in different sort of religious ceremonies and then they're they're not allowed to keep the painting these beautiful beautiful sand paintings they must be erased after so very very interesting strange and but interesting uh, beautiful artwork that must be destroyed at the end very interesting stuff 
uh, really bizarre. Uh, okay. Um, Heidi, I was talking about the Easter eggs and pumpkins and stuff, and, and uh, Shafar, they make stilts for Independence Day. <laughs> By the way, Shafar, stilts in the United States are used, strangely enough, often for Independence Day. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> because they use they they use stilts in parades. That's the common place where you see stilts in a parade. Uh, in a parade. They have. Uh, what's a parade? A parade? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, well, a parade. A lot of people walking down the street, but you have a uh, yeah. You have a uh, marching band. You have people in <laughs> costumes, floats. Yeah. Uh, different things like that. Yeah. It makes a uh, noise. It makes noise. Clowns. Noise, yeah. And people watch the parade. They line up on the street to just watch the parade. And yeah, uh, there's a lot of band music. Uh, maybe it's called if, uh, if uh, uh, a clown using uh, steels. I think it's kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, exactly. You might see a clown on stilts. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. correct. Yeah. Uh, there you go. So anyway, uh, Heidi, are there any traditional Japanese crafts that are done for a specific holiday or for a specific occasion, like a birthday or I don't know, anniversary? I don't know, or for a specific holiday. Is there anything like that? I know about really. pumpkin or something. No, I don't know. Okay. Uh, all right. I'd like to talk to you, actually, Heidi, about another kind of craftsmanship which I am really amazed by, and that is calligraphy. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I know calligraphy. Yes, I find that amazing. Can you know it? Can you do calligraphy? Uh, so far, it's hard. Because uh, we have to learn about uh, Arabic, Arabic uh, uh, text. Okay. Well, of course, calligraphy can be done uh, in any language. Of course. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Heidi. Of course, Japanese calligraphy is very famous. Chinese calligraphy. Of course, Arabic looks very beautiful and uh, done with calligraphy. Yeah. Heidi, have you ever tried to do calligraphy? Ah, uh, no, never. Ah, uh, yeah, we never tried. It's a kind of mandatory. We needed to run. Yeah. And the abacus, two two things. <laughs> An abacus, really? Yeah, I learned the abacus. And the kind oh, no, of kidding. In the school. Okay, what are the uh, characters called? Again, I always forget. Uh, Chinese characters? Yeah. Mm. What are That's they called? From easy one. Easiest is a uh, sun. Sun is a okay. rectangle. And the, uh, in the rectangle, only one line. <laughs> Oh, so well, even I could do that. Uh, okay, I was just, well, there's, okay, never mind, it's not important, it's not even English. Um, Jose. Yeah. Have you ever tried to do calligraphy? My, my calligraphy is very bad, very ugly. No one can understand <laughs> it. Very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Mine too. Uh, yeah, and me too. Yeah, I was awful. You have those pens, you know, with the ink, with the black ink, and they're different. The pens have different. Uh, you know, they're wide one way and very thin the other way. So you have to know how to hold the pen. And always, I, I would make big ink spots. Very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> really pathetic. Um, some some yeah. people can write calligraphy on rice. Yeah, I had a friend actually. Uh, she was a roommate of mine for quite.
quite a few years, she was really good at calligraphy. In fact, professionally, she would be paid to do calligraphy, for example, for wedding invitations or for special posters. She actually got paid to do it. <laughs> One grain of rice can you do that? <laughs> oh, okay. That is just crazy. How do they do that? I don't even understand that. <laughs> they use um, bleaching paint and the brush. Then, like um, our hair, then they uh, write down some several Chinese characters on one grain. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's just crazy. Have you guys seen that before when they, they write uh, on a grain of rice like your I don't know. In the United States, they write your yeah. name and then they put it in a little capsule and they sell it to you for too much money. <laughs> and our yeah. guy from Iran, he writes the Quran, uh -huh. Holy, Holy Quran, is about 300 pages on a rice. No, you're joking. No, I'm serious. <sighs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's. That, for me is mind-boggling. That's just crazy because I can't even, you know, put a thread into a needle. Uh, never mind doing anything that intricate, delicate. Yeah. Okay, that's that's what you call intricate, uh, really intricate work. It's very small, tiny work. Crazy. Uh, Shafar, how's your calligraphy? Are you good at calligraphy? Uh, no, exactly. Uh, in my in my language, uh, I think when uh, it's interesting to back uh, in my school, <laughs> uh, my friend always uh doing calligraphy in their back of a book. So I think uh, I I always uh, tell them to uh, not uh, uh making uh, a for calligraphy like that in your because uh, in your book of your books because it's uh it's uh, prohibited in maybe uh, uh the teacher will always uh, yelling at them uh, to uh, to make awful awful text in their book. <laughs> uh, yes, please don't write in your textbook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You, you write a, a mustache on the people's picture in your textbook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, that, no, don't do that. Okay. Um, Heidi, do you doodle? Do you know what that is? Do you ever doodle? Speaking of uh, following Shafar's talking about writing and putting calligraphy in textbooks. Do you know what I mean, doodle? No. Okay. When you write, maybe you, like in a textbook or on your notebook when you're bored in a class and you yeah, sometimes take a I picture of Mickey Mouse. So the corner of text, I put some uh, manga, like, and then oh, manga. each page uh, a different, a little moves, the different. Oh. Then, um, Whole, uh, whole, uh, complete, completed like anime. <laughs> ah, right. So when you, when you turn the pages, the corner of the pages, if they flip one at yes, a time, yeah, 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 it yeah, looks like the, <laughs> looks like the person is moving. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> jumping or uh, <laughs> jumping uh, rope, rope or something. It was crazy. my hobby. When I was bored in the class. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Very good. Uh, okay. Jose, how about you? Do you ever draw? Do you ever doodle? To doodle is to draw basically very casually, just usually yeah, because you're I mean, On my math book. In your math book? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. Uh, so math is good for something. It teach you to draw. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, 
Jose, do you ever make anything with your hands, like pottery, or you do a little drawing? Do you do anything else? Have you ever made a sculpture? No, I'm just, I'm just like studying. That? Just studying all the time. Just studying. More studying. Yeah. <laughs> Mercy. I have to university. Okay. <laughs> what what year are you? I'm um, studying medicine. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow. Many many years. Which <laughs> which year are you in university? Are you first year, second year, third year? Second, the second now. Second year now. Okay. Yeah. Just studying. More studying. How many years will it take you to graduate? Well, uh, three months. After three months, I will move to Canada. I oh really? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm originally from there, but uh, my mother from Kuwait and my dad. I, it's a long nice. story, but I just came to Kuwait with my mother when I was four years old. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're. It's, it's interesting. And then you're going to go back to Canada in three months. Where are you going in Canada? I will go to Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, you'll love it. It's not so sandy there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and definitely not as hot. Yeah. Yeah. You'll love it. Okay. That's great. Vancouver, they okay, they've got a different kind of craft there. Uh who in the class, general question, who knows what a totem pole is? Speaking of Vancouver, perfect. Uh, Pacific Northwest, they have a, a kind of a craft. It's yeah. a, I something called a total. Indian village. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Basically, they take a large pole, a tree, a straight, straight tall tree, and they carve images. Uh, often animal images, like an eagle, a bear. Sometimes other patterns, uh, a face, maybe a human face, uh, things like that, and paint them different colors. It was a traditional, again, something to do with religion, I think, in Native American religions, but particularly Pacific Northwest, up near Vancouver. You're probably going to see some totem poles. Uh, yeah, carving wood. Shafar, have you ever carved anything? Uh, mm, I think it's hard. <laughs> mm, I've okay, all things. crafts are hard. Uh, yes. In my experience, I think I don't have to. Uh, it's, no, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I just carving. Uh, uh, do you know the hair, the wood? Just yeah, like carving wood. All right. Nothing old. Uh, uh, love, uh, love icon. Love icon. <laughs> love a, icon? Is, like uh, a heart? Yeah, a you heart, mean? yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, very, very nice. Uh, I see. Okay. When we're kind of just... Uh, when we carve wood, all right, to make any... Okay, uh, to make a, some, a symbol or to make a whistle maybe or a pipe or something like that, we call that whittling. To whittle in English. Yeah. That's the verb. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah. A, a carving, you whittle a carving. Whittle is a verb. A carving is the noun. So yeah, I basically I've whittled. I made a I made a stick <laughs> 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 with a with a pointy end. That's about that's about it for my talent. Uh, Heidi, have you ever carved anything? Soap, maybe, or stone, or wood? Oh, it's difficult. <laughs> maybe, yes. yeah, soap. Well, I mentioned before, it did. Uh, I was a chef for many years, so as a result, I would sometimes carve food. Carve, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not kidding. Like a watermelon, you make like a swan. 
from a melon. You know? uh, three or four years ago, like, three years ago, I went to Philippines. Then uh -huh. I went to another village. Uh, that place is very, very famous for carving. They carved a lot of vegetables, uh, making flour or something from vegetables. Do you know that place? Yeah. Very close, uh, Laguna. Oh, Laguna. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think they have a festival, actually, mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, it's, it, is a, it is something that they do here in the Philippines. Uh, I'm an American, but I live in the Philippines now, where there is now, right as we speak, a typhoon. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> by the way, I might add, uh, yeah, um, one of the coolest things I've ever seen, and this may sound totally bizarre, but in the United States, they actually carve butter. You see this at uh, like a county fair, an agricultural festival. Carved butter, it, and not just like a tiny piece of butter, but like life-size human people. <laughs> really cool, but obviously it's got to be cold because on a hot day the sculpture melts. <laughs> and speaking of which, I, I used to be a chef. I have also carved ice, ice carving. Mm. Have you ever tried that? It's harder than it looks, by the way. <laughs> I just want to say it for the record. Uh, it's also very cold. Um, <laughs> Ice tends to crack and break, which was what always happened to me when I was. I hated doing ice ice carvings. It's so nerve wracking because any second, one little wrong move, and the ice breaks in half. It's really nerve wracking. Jose, have you ever tried carving anything? Well, we will die because of the sun. <laughs> well, not yeah. Yeah, it is. It it wait, yeah, I'm sure ice yeah. carving is not very popular. Yeah. Well, I'm actually, I'm not sure. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, have you ever carved like a piece of wood? No, never. No. Okay. No. Uh, shells, coconut shells. Coconut shells, very, very common to carve a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Do a coconut shell? No. Never done that. All right. Jose, how about painting? Have you ever done any painting? Well, no. Um, Jose, I want to know that you're good with your hands. Are you good with your hands? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope good. so. <laughs> you know, going to be a doctor and everything, I, I want to know that you're uh, very... Dextrous. Oh, yeah. There's, there's another uh, English word for you. If you're dexterous, you're good with your hands. As Heidi was talking about earlier, you have thin, long, supple hands. Yeah. So, okay, uh, dexterous, you're able to use your hands. Uh, who can tell me? What what is ambidextrous in English? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Does anybody know? What does ambidextrous huh. mean? Huh? 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 Do you know? Uh, too clever. Far? Too clever. <laughs> ambidextrous means you can use both hands. Most of us are right-handed. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> So if you're ambidextrous, you can use both either hand equally well, or foot. My friend. Any soccer, <laughs> yeah, uh, we talk about soccer players being. When I was young, very strange. I, I don't know. I'm a weirdo. Definitely right-handed, but I was ambidextrous with my feet. So playing soccer or football, uh, I could kick with my left foot just as well as my right foot. So they always made me pick play on the left side of the field because I could actually kick left-footed, <laughs> which is very weird um, because not with my hands but with my feet only. Uh, 
Heidi, have you ever met somebody who's ambidextrous? Are you left-handed or right-handed, Heidi? I'm right-handed, but my, but my sister is left-handed. So okay. is she? <laughs> she learned piano. Really? Uh, yeah, she was very good. Ah, yeah, okay. Really, Shafar, you're left-handed? Uh, no, uh, my I'm right-handed, but my uh, my brother is uh, left-handed. Really? Yes. Uh, I, I think um, she uh, he is uh, uh, inherited from my uh, mother, but he inherited from my uh, father. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's special for Jen, maybe. Hmm. About Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Uh, I think left handed people are definitely have a disadvantage because, you know, they have to buy special golf clubs. And, uh,. Life is tough. And to play guitar. I think. <laughs> and to play guitar. Right. Everything's yeah. upside down. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. No prediction. Uh, so, and, okay. Uh, <laughs> to stand on their head to play guitar. Okay. Uh, in, in any case, all right. Um, does anybody know any other interesting crafts? We've covered a lot of really strange and interesting crafts, writing on rice and totem poles. And uh, our time is nearly up, and so is my battery. <laughs> and the power is still not on. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> yeah. I'm amazed I made it through the class, actually. Uh, any, in any case... Uh, well, basically our time is up, so uh, let me just thank you for joining me. Thank you very much, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon when the typhoon is over, hopefully. All right. Thank you. Uh, you guys have a great day. Goodbye.